It may look like a bee or a wasp, but it is actually harmless, because it doesn't bite or sting. It is called a hoverfly, named as such because of its ability to hover, a few winged insects possess. Its mimicry at its finest, as hoverflies resemble the aggressive stinging insects which predators avoid. They are true flies belonging to the dipteran order, along with other familiar flies. They are also called syrphid flies or flower flies. They are commonly seen hovering in gardens or vegetation, especially near or around flowers as they feed on nectar, thus making them important pollinators. They may enjoy the breeze once in a while, hanging around or resting on grasses. Unlike other flies, they do not carry any diseases. But the hoverfly's goodness doesn't just stop there. Though hoverfly larvae eat a wide range of foods, some species feed on plant pests, especially the sap-sucking aphids. A study says that high hoverfly larval populations can reduce the aphid populace by 70 to 100 percent. Might as well call them the magnificent maggots. <laughs> Adult hoverflies come in different shapes and sizes. Like most flies, males have bigger eyes which come close together, while females have smaller eyes and placed farther apart. This male displays two hypnotic sets of optics, and they can also be real head turners. <laughs> Aren't they all just beautiful? Larvae and adults play a vital role in the environment. They are one of the supers of the Dipteran family. Surely after watching this episode, you'd probably be thinking of changing your perspective on the nasty reputation of flies. Thank you for watching and see you in the next story.